Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how to install the new Oracle Vector Grill. The first thing we need to do is remove the stock grill off this Jeep Wrangler JK. To do that, we're gonna open the hood and remove the six clips across the top of the hood. We're gonna remove those with either a flathead screwdriver, in this case, a panel tool. So with these clips now removed, we're gonna to need to pull back on the grill to release it from its fasteners. You're gonna have two sockets for the turn signals. Just twist them, and those just drop right out. Set this to the side so we're safe. With the factory grill removed and set on the side, now we're gonna have to take out the headlights. In order to do this, we're actually gonna take out the headlight and bracket together. So instead of taking off these three torque screws, we're gonna show you a little bit different method. With the T15 Torx, we're gonna take the headlight adjuster and run it all the way out. Once it's out, we can pop out the other two brackets and remove the headlight in one piece. So with the headlight assemblies now removed, we need to take out these two posts that we're holding the headlights in. To do that, we're gonna use a 15 millimeter socket wrench. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and install the vector grill. The great thing about this is that it comes pre-assembled. All the lights, daytime running lights, headlights, everything's already in there for you. The wiring is already done, the plug and play connectors are ready to plug into the turn signal socket and your H13 plug. All you have to do is physically mount it the same way we took the stock grill off and plug everything in. So let's go ahead and get that done. We're going to remove the turn signal bulb and then plug this module into the turn signal socket. Locate the H13 headlight socket and plug the headlight adapter into the socket. We've got everything plugged in, so now we're going to go ahead and mount the grill. We're gonna start at the bottom. In the center, there's a pin here to align everything. We're gonna get that lined up. It goes into the round hole. Everything else is gonna go into these slotted holes. So we're gonna snap these clips right in place. And we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the clips across the top as well. All right, we got the grill reinstalled and wired up. So last thing to do is just go ahead and check all of our connections. Let's hit the turn signals. All right, turn signals look great. Those are working well. We'll try out the parking light. Parking light's gonna activate our dynamic daytime running light sequence. So once that goes through its start sequence, it's all fired up, all that's obviously working well. Uh, go ahead and hit the headlights. Headlights are working, it's perfect. And uh, let's try the high beams. High beams are working just like they're supposed to. So everything's set up, everything's working. Uh, that's the whole installation, that's, that's the process. We're gonna go ahead and go into a more detailed video later, especially for you guys that wanna paint the grill and need to disassemble it, take all these parts out. We're gonna go through that whole process, how to disassemble it and reassemble it for paint. So be sure to stay tuned, we'll have lots more videos coming out. If you have any questions or you have any comments, please leave a comment in the comment section or give us a call. We're happy to answer any questions you have about this product. Thanks for watching.